I think Liverpool have an opportunity. They've certainly got to, you know, worry about January with Salah going to the African Nations Cup. That's going to be a big miss for them. Um, and I think they have a great chance, of course, but they've got to build on and become a lot better than what they have been today, certainly, because you can play all you want and show all the stats you like, but if you don't get the results in the end and the wins, you know, that's what matters most. But I certainly think Arsenal have a great chance and I think Manchester City, everyone, we're all talking about them, you know, and they're in bad moments and this and that, but let's be realistic. They're only six points off the top, so... I think it's five points, it might be, so it's nothing really when you think about it. It's a long season ahead. I think they've still got well within their rights to believe that they'll go on to win the Premier League. But there is a frailty there. Do you, are you left today, Jamie, with more questions than answers about Liverpool's challenge? Yeah, yeah, I would say so. And probably just reiterating what I felt coming into the game a little bit. Uh, you know, how good is this Liverpool team? It's, it's almost ahead of schedule. I think the feeling was, can Liverpool make sure they get back into the Champions League this season? Maybe have a go at the, you know, Europa League and then next season's the time to really, you know, get back. So I think it surprised a lot of people, certainly me, where Liverpool are in, in the league. So you think, of, of course, you go for it. But I think, I think if you even speak to Arsenal supporters, they'll look at their team and have questions as well and probably think, can you win the league with the goalkeeping situation? Have they got a, someone who's going to get lots of goals, someone who's going to get 25, 30 Premier League goals? Probably not. So it feels like there are still questions between the top the top two right now. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I don't think Liverpool can win the league. From what I've seen, in terms of results-wise, but in terms of performance-wise, it feels like a lot of... They've had a little bit of luck at times this season. Of course, they had bad luck with the Tottenham game, but in terms of someone coming off the bench, winning the game late, I'm not sure you can continue to do that. How do you see it? Yeah, I don't think Liverpool win the league. Um, I said Arsenal at the start, at the start of the season because I anticipate that City might just have that little bit of a drop, which is understandable after such a peak last season. It's a drop, though, not complacency. <laughs> Look, I mean, with Pep Guardiola, <laughs> you know, how many times does he lose one? Uh, sorry, win one game out of six in a league? That's probably happened to him very rarely in his career. Once before. Yeah. So, I mean, for me, there is an element of dropping off your standards, complacency, whatever you want to call it. He doesn't want to call it complacency, but. You know, I think there were times when we were in that position after a previous successful season where you, in the first part of the season the games don't feel as serious or as big as you want them to be and you're just maybe ambling along and then come February they could be luring us in Manchester City, they just hit the, you know, the Champions League qualifier, uh, knockout phase comes along and all of a sudden it gets really serious and Manchester City players could step up and go on a great run and they could go and win that league. But they may be at this point too far behind if they continue to drop points. Arsenal might be seven or eight points in front of them and Arsenal may not do what they did last season, which is, you know, falter badly in that running. So the reason I said that Arsenal would win it this year, I just thought that, and I think it'll come down to injuries in the end. The teams are picking up more injuries. If Arsenal keep their players fit, they've got an incredible chance of winning the league. But you can't rule City out, obviously. Villa are a cock -a hoop right now. Their fans certainly are. If they win on Friday night, live on Sky, and there's a draw here the following day between Liverpool and Arsenal, they'll be top at Christmas. So... We yeah. need to take them seriously, don't we? Yeah, yeah, but I, I don't think you get anything when you're top of Christmas, do you? I think it's you've got to be top at the end of the season, and that's the most important thing. But Villa are doing great. They are flying, and they're all in top form. And even today, they're scrapping results. And obviously, we saw again today, set pieces huge, huge for them. But you just think they'd be short in terms of the squad. Again, I think City, I, I find it hard to write off City, but there certainly is a dip. And the result over the weekend was, you know, when you're tuning up and you're thinking City certainly won't slip up. So that, I think Pep's mentioned fatigue as well. And obviously, they're away for it. A couple of weeks. The only thing I'd still be hope my, my hopes are for Man City, I think De Bruyne, if De Bruyne comes back and hits the ground running, he will be a huge difference. But if it takes him a while to get up to speed, and if City do slip up and they don't win the league, then to me, Arsenal. I think Arsenal with that. Rice coming in, a bit of physicality. Yeah, listen, if injuries, you could say that for lots of teams, but I'd be pointing towards Arsenal. There, there is a thing about City that they're just not as good as last season because of Gundogan, how important, how good a player, great a player he was and is. Then you've got Mares, who was an unbelievable performer on that right wing, and they've not really sorted that out. And then, obviously, you've got Laporte, who, to be fair, didn't play a lot in last season, but I still think Laporte's a better player than Guardiola. So three players that have left, I don't think they've been replaced with players that are as good as them. Now, obviously, I think City will still have an incredibly strong season. They could win the league by 10 points. But there is an element of just looking at them and thinking they aren't as good as last year because of the three players that they've lost. They were fantastic players, those players. But all the other teams must be getting belief now. Whereas last year, you were thinking everyone, even the teams probably up against them, oh, they're still the best out there. But if you're on, obviously, even Liverpool's camp, obviously Villa we mentioned, Arsenal, they must be looking and going, well, this is 
as good a chance as we've had, obviously, for a number of years. Tracking two points a game right now, you, you wonder actually how many it's going to be this season. Could be a big drop of 85, something like that, Jamie? I hope, I hope it is, because I think that keeps a lot more teams involved. I mean, that's been the problem over the last few years, why City have been so dominant. No one can just... You're starting a season. And certainly those seasons when Liverpool and City were going for the league, I mean, if you lost the game in October, you, you felt like the league was gone. You know, it felt like you, you could only... You, you know, City were getting almost 100 points. That felt like the target. I don't think it is quite there now. You're talking where they, where they are at the moment. So it could be mid-80s and that could bring Liverpool into it. And, you know, Arsenal, I, I think, will definitely be there. Maybe even Aston Villa. If, if Liverpool, Liverpool, to be fair, uh, Pep Guardiola won't want Liverpool on a run-in because Klopp has been down that path and so have the players here. I think that ultimately Arsenal last year showed how difficult that can be, but Liverpool's players have, have been there before. We will see. 